I live a very boring life. I wake up, brush my teeth, get dressed, go straight to the gym, work out, come back, make a little meal. If I can, I prep for dinner. I start the prep at least. I sit down, I work nine to 10 hours. I walk copper, work some more. Then I'll walk him again, <laughs> work some more. I'll eat dinner and then I usually just either work on this, doing some editing and go to sleep. I've been living this Groundhog Day situation since September. Now, prior to that, as many of you may know, if you've been watching my videos for the last few months, I got laid off from my day job. And that prompted me to really get into my own creativity, to, to start my own coaching organization or let's restart uh, my coaching. Um, prior, it was more in fitness and nutrition. This time it's more lifestyle, including fitness and nutrition, but looking at the holistic person, not this one dimension. I did that, but obviously things take time to build. If you want to make enough money to live in a place like California, you have to do a lot. You have to make a lot of money. And uh, I decided to, to get a day job to hold me down. I didn't want a typical day job. I wanted one where I can make a lot of money in a short amount of time. There's a, a really difficult, it's kind of like a J curve, right? Very flat and eventually it will go like. So I decided to do that so that eventually I have more freedom to create. So right now it's just the hard part, the, the bottom of the J part, the little curve. <laughs> I live this boring life because of the layoff. I've really cut back on a lot of things. I cut back on rent, big, big expense. I cut back on the kind of food I buy. I'm very basic in, in what I buy, except my meat. That's always high, highest quality, but everything else I'm kind of shaving. Unfortunately, not eating out as much, maybe once a week. And if I do, it's not at a fancy, fancy, super fancy restaurant. It's usually just a fast food, casual kind of space where maybe I spend 20 bucks on a, a meal. And I've even cut back on my calories that I was bulking before more calories, more food you got to buy. Obviously you spend more money. I cut back on travel. If I do travel, I try to use most of my rewards points and other ways to, to get by if I do travel. I live a very boring life. And sometimes there is a season in your life outside of your youth where you're broke, but you have time. When you get laid off or you have to work a really intensive and demanding job in order to make some money and gain some skills, it's the hard part. And I live this boring life because I am trying to save so that I can get my own space again and be at the top again. I just tumbled down the hill. That was it. That was all. I hope. I hope that doesn't last long. I'm trying hard not to stay down here too long. But life will throw a lot at you. A quote that I told my friend once that just came out of me. I always say, sometimes God speaks through you. And he spoke through me once where my buddy was having a really difficult time. And he was just asking for advice. And I don't give advice unless it's asked outside of videos. Like I know I give advice here, but I'm hoping that I can help someone. In this case, he asked for advice. And one of the pieces that came out of me that I was like, oh, that's that wasn't me. That was definitely a message from God is that the whole idea of when it rains, it pours. A quote I heard very young heard it in movies and things like that and it goes both ways in life can rain and pour negatively or positively usually when bad things happen they all happen at once usually when good things happen they all happen at once and 2023 for me was that year where everything bad happened at once versus 2021 was a year where everything good happened at once a lot of good happened during that time and i didn't see it at the time i was looking too far in the future stressed out about the future more than the present moment and enjoying that time and i I'm not going to say I regret it. I regret feeling that way. It was just where I was at at the time. But now I know better. And even this, I'm just appreciating this moment. Living a boring life. Not exciting. <laughs> if I had a vlog, it'd be the same thing every day. Just as you saw in that little montage earlier. That's what it is. Including weekends. <laughs> including weekends. While I might not be working my day job on a weekend, I'm still working, right? I'm, I'm video planning, I'm scripting, I'm doing research, I'm editing, I'm looking at other jobs uh, just in case. I always say if you're looking for a job or if you're in a job, always be looking, always be looking. ABL, always be looking. Just advice I would have, especially with current layoffs, 
part of my job is to speak to people every day. I speak to eight to 10 people a day that I connect with and I get to hear their stories. And I've heard all kinds of stories. Like when it comes to corporations, loyalty doesn't exist. So unfortunately, that's just the reality. So always be looking, always be looking, keep yourself sharp because you never know what may happen. So I'm living this boring life for now in order to live better next year and on it's hermit mode right now and maybe that's something that you have to consider maybe you are going through it right now and i feel you i'm here i hope that these videos have been helping just give perspective and thinking through all of this live your boring life it's fine you may be stagnant for now. You may get used to it. But we are creatures of novelty. We we like the same things, but occasionally we like to change things up. But whatever that may look like, I change things up differently. Like maybe my videos are all creative endeavors. My workouts, I change them up every other month. <clears throat> I'll do the same kind of split three times a week for two months, and then I'll shift it and change up my workouts three months and then from there I continue adding a little running adding uh, some yoga and it gives me some semblance of change while I'm stuck I'm home all the time I'm not doing much not spending money not going out there and being very careful what does that look like for you are you living a boring life boring is sometimes good do you not think it's good what's the most exciting thing that's happening right now in your life Comment below, let me know, let's start a conversation.